Okay, welcome back to another PR Fishing. <clears throat> we're going to do a little, little different this time. We're going to do another little catch and cook. Well, cook and clean. Well, I'll show you a couple little reruns of some crap I caught the other day. And then we're going to go back and we're going to clean these fish up. And then we're going to put them in the old frying pan, okay? So, stay tuned. Let's eat. Moved out here to brush on out here a little bit. In front of it. Let it sink. Can you see that? Look, got him already. While well, it was dropping, he hit it. It's a good one here. There's a bucket fish here. There's a bucket fish there. Uh oh. Uh oh. He jumped away from him. Oh, he come off, but he landed in the boat. Good little fish. So we'll throw him in there. All right, so I found a little, a little sweet spot anyway. Okay. Okay, howdy folks, I'm going to clean a couple of fish and then we're going to do these the old way, the old style. We're just going to head them and gut them. We're going to get the scales off of them like this right here. I am going to do something just a little bit different. Make sure you get them scales right there behind us, in front of his tail, and underneath his tail. We're going to pop them off real quick. Backside of your blade, always use the backside of your blade. Don't use the sharp, sharp side of you. I'm not going to fillet these. These are kind of smaller too, but I wanted some smaller ones. Okay. Right behind the fin. Get him right there at his head. See that? We're going to turn him over. Pop it. It pops it, pops that blunt, pops that uh, spine, his spine. Put down your little knife, pick up his, your big meat cleaver. There's his head. And you're just gonna come right here, get all these guts out, cut this little piece out right here. See this little piece right here? Cut it on out. Get all that stuff out of there. Like that. See? All these guts out of there. But this is what I'm going to do different right here. Check this out. I'm trying to save a little room in the frying pan. I'm going to take these fins off. See that? Just going to take them off. Now, they're good eating. Now, you can fry them little fins up. Eat them like grandmama eats that tail. But we're going to take them off. Water hose to him, clean him up a little bit. Stretch his insides there, get all that stuff out. Get the scales off. There's a good looking fillet. I mean, not fillet, good looking little headed and gutted. Throw them in the frying pan to fry up. One more, real quick. Okay. One more real quick. Again, these are small, smaller crappy. And that's what I wanted to keep. Get these scales off. Front, bottom and bottom and top of his tail. Get 
right to his head. Flip him over. You hear that pop. You heard that pop. It pops that bone. Get your meat cleaver. Cuss it right out. There he is. Come down. Get his guts out. Cut this piece out. Flip him over, get to the other side, all that mess. Then I like to come back, get these fins. Again, I cut these fins off just so I can save a little room in the frying pan. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go inside and fry these up. Take the water hose to him. Get all that stuff. And there he is, all cleaned up, gutted headed. Little tail for grandmama. Perfect little fish. All right. So stay with me. We're gonna go inside, put them in the frying pan. I got, I don't know, I got six or seven more to clean. We'll cook them up. All right, here we are in the kitchen. Grandmama's here. Wait, grandmama. Hey. Grandmama's here making some good old potato salad. We got some baked beans going. And then we're gonna fry these fish up right here in a minute. Just finish, finish making that old good potato salad. Good gracious grandmama. Okay, so hang on, we're gonna get this stuff ready. Okay, so we're gonna do a little house of all tree, seafood bread, some cornmeal, white cornmeal. And I'm gonna add some seasoning, add some old Obey to the mixture. And I done mixed up the uh, the house off tree. Do about, I do more cornmeal than anything. A little salt and pepper, mix in. You want some butter for it to go in your grease? So that's where we're gonna. That's what we're gonna roll right there, and then we're gonna fry that stuff up like that right there, okay? And Grandmama, I've already put some butter in the grease. Thank you. Okay, so we got a couple in the frying pan. What are we doing? Frying up already. What are we doing? Okay. Paul? Grandmama's also got some slaw going. But what are we doing that's different? These whole fish. Now you know how I am about bones. Yes, see, Grandmama don't like the bones. Well, I've had them stuck in my throat before for some time. See, so I, 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 you know, a bunch of y'all <laughs> have given me a fit because I was the way that I was flaying. So um, I did some trying to do some hole now. She don't like it, and you know, that's the boss. That's the boss. That's what says what goes. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna try them like this. Just this one time. Papa kind of likes them like this too. This is kind of old school flaying them hole. And you know what the best part is? I ain't even told y'all about. Look at them blackberry cobblers. Get with them later. Oh, I got a couple more frying. Two done already. Got a couple frying, and again, I just took some, just took some obey, just took some obey, and put on the top of it with some salt and pepper. So I put the seal on the top. Got a little season. Still got some baked beans, there's some slaw in there, the rest of the fish. Alright, so I couldn't wait, so I jumped on that one. Just appetizing. Got some more going. Got a couple more to cook. And look what just came out of the oven. Yeah! Blackberry cobbler. With some vanilla bean ice cream. Woo! Okay, here we go. We got the spread going on. Slaw, there's the fish, potato salad. Whole oh, crappy. We hadn't had color. them in a while. Papa, look, he's already into it already. Oh, dad going right. Baked beans. And of course, Papa's on the tube. That's it. So when everybody gets in here, 
Get a bite of it and see what they think. Watch over and take care of us while we're out running around doing our thing, girls, uh, me and mama, and of course, Paul. We uh, really appreciate these fish that you allowed him to catch to bring home. And uh, I love fresh fish. And we thank you so very, very, very much. I mean. All right. There's my plate. Good gracious in the day. I told you, that's about all we got there. The slaw, the fish, the potato salad, some Just pops digging in, small baked salad. beans. Right. Could I have the potatoes, please? And a good old blackberry cobbler, look at that. Mm. The ice cream to go on in. All right, so I done tore in half mine already. This stuff is so good. So, and I want you to hear this story. Grandmama's got a story. Okay, Grandmama. <laughs> Tell us the story about the fish you was telling me earlier now. Well, the, the crappy remind me of the rim that we used to catch out of the pond. They might have been smaller, but I can remember when my mother was laid off at Western Electric. We would go down and just, we would pray that the, be, the brim would bite our hooks so we'd have some supper. <laughs> of course, we probably did, but I was just a child, but they're so good. The little young ones, although I'm afraid of the bones, the tails are wonderful. Break one off and show you because nobody else eats tails. They are so young and tender. Mm, mm -mm. Like a potato chip. The best. They taste better than potato chips. Okay. Mm. What do you think, son? So, son, what you think about the fish? You don't like the fish? So what you eat? Potato salad. Just potato salad? Yes. And baked beans. And baked beans. Oh yeah, look, potato it's salad. It's already gone. empty. Pop, what you think about the fish, Pop? I love it. I love it. That's excellent. If I could just get the bones out of it. That's the reason we flay them up when we're about to them That's the reason. That's reason they're little ones. Oh, yeah. they're so good. They're meat, they're look, young meat. They may so taste tender. better though. Mm. Because they are so young. Mm -hmm. A little. Still want this. Oh. So the little ones is a good thumbs up. We got to fight the bones, but we'll fight as long as nobody gets choked and we have to go to the hospital. We've done that before too. All right. Well, let's finish eating. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget. To uh, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about this clean and cook here. You know, you watch me clean them, watch me catch them, watch me clean them, and I now we're sitting here eating them. So, and and uh, they all had a blast. We had I had a blast catching them. So, but again, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Hey, don't forget, send me your pictures. I want to, I want everybody to see your pictures. Crash.